A Handful of Dates by Taib Salaho Taib Salaho Taib Salaho, a Sudanese writer and cultural journalist was born on July 12, 1929 in Karmakal, Sudan. Graduated from University of Khartoum before leaving for the University of London. Worked in journalism and promotion of international cultural exchange. Wrote weekly column for the London-based Arabic-language newspaper Al Majla. His writing draws inspiration from his youth in a Sudanese village. Died on February 18, 2009 in London. A Handful of Dates Originally published in Arabic in 1964 in the collection The Wedding of Zian. Set in the fictional village of Wat Hamid, which is in central Sudan. Indicates the regard of a young boy towards his grandfather and the incident which made him to hate the grandfather. Indicates the sympathy and concern of humans. Summary The story is in first-person narrative and the writer starts the story by saying that he was very young at the time of the story. He used to spend time with his grandfather and while others saw him they used to pet him and pinch the cheeks of him. Except the mornings he used to go with the grandfather and never used to go with his father. He used to go to the mosque to learn Quran and the sheikh used to ask him to read the chapter of Merciful while they had visitors. He loved the land which he lived with the mosque, river, and the fields. After learning Quran he used to have the breakfast quickly and hurry to the river and after tired of swimming he used to have the imagination of his own land and the living behind woods. The narrator had given the description of the people there and also the grandfather who is tall and how the narrator loved him. As he was very close to his grandfather he knows about him and act accordingly and so he is the favorite child of grandfather. One day the narrator asked about the neighbor Masood to the grandfather for which he relied he don't like him as he was an indolent or a lazy man. He told that the lands which are now owned by him belonged to Masood before 40 years as he inherited it from his father. The narrator asked how the lands were bought by grandfather. Grandfather replied that Masood has many wives and every time he married he used to sell the land to the grandfather. In the meantime Masood arrived and told that he is going to harvest the dates and asked grandfather to be there. The narrator was also taken by the grandfather to harvest the dates of Masood's cultivation. The narrator witnessed Masood standing as though he has no concern, despite the fact that the date harvested were his own. Once Masood shouted at a boy who perched the palm not to hurt the heart of the palm. The narrator noted the concern of Masood and recollected the past event when he played with a branch of young palm tree. Masood warned him not to hurt the palm trees as those are like humans experiencing joy and suffering. The dates were collected into high mounds and people came there and waited and packed it in sack and the narrated counted 30 sacks. The narrator counted 30 sacks and now all men other than Hussein, the merchant, Mausa, the owner of Next Field and two other men stood there. Grandfather was sleeping and suddenly woke and moved to the sacks and started dividing the sacks between them. He tasted it and gave a fistful to the narrator too. Hussein took ten sacks, Mausa took five sacks, the two men took five sacks each and the grandfather took five sacks of dates. The narrator was confused on seeing what was happening there. Suddenly he heard his grandfather telling to Masood that he is still fifty pounds in debt to the grandfather. The merchant and the men loaded the dates on the donkeys and camels and went away. On seeing Masood who was standing there witnessing all these, the narrator developed a sharp sensation of pain in his chest. After that his grandfather called him and the narrator hesitated to move with him. At that moment the narrator felt like hating his grandfather. With quick pace he moved fast to the riverbank and put his finger into his throat and spewed up the dates he had eaten. The narrator concludes the story by stating that without knowing the reason he has made this act. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.